In this lecture, we are going to download MetaSpriteable 2. So the MetaSpriteable 2 virtual machine is an intentionally vulnerable version of Ubuntu Linux designed for testing security tools and demonstrating common vulnerabilities. And the version 2 of this particular virtual machine is available for download and ships with more vulnerabilities that, uh, than the original image. Now let's see how we can download MetaSpriteable 2 inside our Windows operating system. So what you need to do is you need to simply open your web browser and inside the search bar what you need to type is MetaSpriteable 2. So when you hit enter you will find these kinds of links which is from SourceForge. So when you click on this particular first link, which is MetaSpriteable, browse MetaSpriteable 2 at SourceForge.net. So when you click on this particular link, it will open a downloading page for you. So in this in this downloading file, there is two files, which is MetaSpriteable Linux zip, and the next one is readme.txt. So when you click on this green tab, it will start downloading your MetaSpriteable 2. So it will take some time because it is around 800 MB file. So as you can see that we have this file. So this is a zip version of this particular file. When you click on this OK button, it will start downloading. So this is how you can download Metasplitable 2. So now it's time to see how to install Metasplitable 2 machine inside the virtual box. So what you need to do is you need to navigate to machine. And when you click on this, you will find new. So when you click on new, you will see this kind of window. So this is asking for the name, which you are going to name for uh, our Metasplitable machine. So I'm going to name it wall and type is Linux. And this is the place, which is the machines folder. And inside version, what I'm going to choose it, it is Ubuntu 64 and just click on next. And after clicking on next, it is asking for the RAM, how much RAM you want to allot to this particular machine. So I'm having 12 GB of RAM. So I'm going to allot it around 512, which is 512 MB of RAM because it will be going to work very fine in this RAM. So just click on next. And after clicking on next, you will find this menu. So you need to change to use an existing hard drive disk and just select the MetaSpriteable machine folder where you have downloaded. So what you need to do is you need to simply navigate to the folder where you have uh, downloaded your MetaSpriteable machine. So I'm going to navigate to that particular folder so that I can get inside it. Okay operating system and this is the folder where I have downloaded Metasploit. So when you click on this particular Metasploit file and open it will just select the file and click on choose. After choosing click on create. So after creating as you can see that we have this particular file which is wall. So when you click on start it will start loading your Metasploit will machine. So you have to wait till the completion of this you don't need to do anything you just sit back and just watch what is going in the screen now as you can see that whole process of installing is being done so this is asking for the username and the password so the username will be msf admin and the password will also seem MSF admin and hit enter. So after hitting enter, as you can see that we are inside the Metasplitable 2 machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run one command, which is if config, which will tell us the IP address of this particular machine. So after hitting enter, as you can see that we have the IT IP address, which is at zero in the second line. 10.0.2.15 so this is how we can install metasplital machine so this is uh, the machine where we are going to perform lots of attack so this is all for this lecture in the next lecture we are going to install OWASP BWA thank you for watching this lecture hi guys 
In this lecture, we are going to download OWASP Broken Web Application Project. It is a collection of vulnerable web applications that is distributed on a virtual machine in VMware format compatible with their no-cost VMware player and VMware Spare hypervisor. So now let's see how we can download OWASP BWA. So what you need to do is you need to type OWASP BWA OWA file and hit enter. So after hitting enter, you will find so many links. So what you need to do is you need to click on this particular third link, which is OSDN.net. So when you click on this particular link, you will find this particular page. So when you scroll down, you will see these files. So what you need to do is you need to click on this particular file, which is .ova. Okay. So when you click on this particular file, it will show you this kind of interface. So when you click on this particular link, which is OWASP Broken Web App VM. So after clicking on this particular link, you will find you are redirected towards the source files. So it will start downloading your OWASP VWA. So this is very large file. It will take lots of time. As you can see that it is 2.4 GB file. Okay, so when you click on OK button, it will start downloading. Okay, so this is how we can download OWASP broken web app for the Windows. We have successfully installed Kali Linux Meta Exploit Tool 2 machine. Now this time to install OWASP BWA. So for installing it, you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded OWASP broken web application. So I have inside the folder i'm inside the folder where i have downloaded it so i'm going to just double click on the OWASP broken web app so after double clicking as you can see that we are going to inside virtual box so we are inside virtual box so what i'm going to do is i'm going to name it like OWASP bwa and after hitting enter on import you will see it is start importing the files so i'm going to just pause the video till the completion of this now file importing is being successful so next step that i'm going to do is i'm going to open it so when you click on this particular machine and click on start it will start booting when you open it first time it will going to take some time it depends upon how much ram you have allotted to this particular machine so as you can see that the booting process is being started and uh, just wait till the completion of all the process. Now installation process has been completed. So it is asking for the login. So the username will be root and the password will be OWASP BWA and hit enter. So as you can see that we are inside the OWASP BWA vulnerable machine. So as you can see that the IP address of this particular machine is if config hit enter. So the IP address of this particular machine is 10.0.2.2. One five. So this is the IP address of this particular machine. So we are going to see later how we can use all these IP addresses for our attacking. So this is all for this lecture. Thank you for watching this lecture.